my workspace is not particularly well organised chaos. But I do know where what I need is. The drawing is the, the skeleton, the bones of every picture, any picture. So to me, a pencil, you can't do much without it. The quality of the paint is very important. Cheap paint doesn't work together. You need good paint. I use no more than seven or eight colours. You don't need many. You get every colour out of that. And also do not skim on the paper. Well, I always use this, which is cotton. It's not even paper. And it's rough and it's scratchy, but it does a lot of work for you. The one constant that I have as a workspace within the FT is to be by a window. Sometimes if you just stare into the sky, you can drift off and think of something. So I love to see the sky. Where I work is not amongst other artists. It's in a newsroom full of journalists, sub-editors, Martin Wolf. He'll say, oh, I haven't written anything yet. And he narrates his entire article. And then it's up to me to come up with an idea. You do feel more involved than if I was working remotely. One extra small but quite important advantage of being in an air-conditioned office is that washes and wet paint dries significantly faster than in a non-air-conditioned room at home. In fact, anywhere. And if that's not quick enough, The Ferguson hairdryer. <laughs> I'm willing to try anything that'll work. If you need a, a distressed picture, which I have done, I've painted a picture, put it on the floor and scraped it and, and shredded it. If I don't come up with a drawing, there's a big empty space with my name at the bottom. That is very inspirational. <laughs>